So now next topic is uh, creating and accessing class component library. That is uh, in this topic you will uh, create a DLL file and you will consume that DLL file in other applications as well. Right. So uh, the .NET provides the capability of uh, creating libraries right of uh, a base class application rather than exe right so instead uh, uh, the library projects uh, final build version will be uh, the dll file right so uh, uh, after that you can reference uh, this dll file to uh, the outside application right uh, for the use of its entire functionality right so now uh, we will walk through uh, to how to create uh, the class component library so we will call this class component library as a dll file right dot dll file so in this walkthrough we will learn how to create uh, the class library file right so first we will cre create a class library project and then uh, we will create simple console based application and we will consume that uh, class library functions in that uh, application right so uh, first we will create uh, uh, we'll go to visual studio uh, any version you uh, have then you have to go to create new project and you will go to this class library right after that you have to give uh, the appropriate project name suppose i am i am giving the project name uh, as class lib right so i have given the name class lib and uh, then you will create that project right after that a code will automatically generate it right uh, with the namespace that you have uh, created the project so namespace cls lib is automatically created then you have to uh, create a class that is mathlib i am creating a class mathlib which is responsible for calculating the square root and the addition of two numbers right so under that uh, mathlib I have created this is a constructor do not go to this side I have uh, I'll explain you it later on right so this is the constructor of that class the same name the constructor is the same name as of the class right so it is a specialized function for uh, this class right now what we are doing we are uh, creating the two functions right first is for adding the two numbers so i have taken calculate sum inside this i have passed two arguments int x and int y and int z we are calculating the sum of these x and y and we are printing it to uh, the console right with the help of console dot right line method right then second function is for calculating the square root right so we have taken calculate sqrt and we are passing uh, uh, the argument as double x right in double x what we are doing we are storing the value in z there is another variable z which is of double type and we are using math uh, dot sqrt function there is a function inside the math which will calculate the square root right so it is an inbuilt function of math library inside this we are passing uh, the argument in which we have passed in a function and then after that we are printing it to console right console dot right line the value of z means the square root of x right so in this way uh, this class library is created so after the class library is created you have to build the code right i will uh, show you in the implementation part you have to build the code right and you will notice that uh, one dll file is created right you have to right click on the project and go to uh, open uh, project in file explorer so the path uh, if you want to locate your dll file you can locate your dll file in your uh, this project right under project there is a bin folder and under this there is a debug folder and this is the dll created in that uh, particular uh, location right so inside this dll there are two functions created right one is for calculating the sum and another is for calculating the square root right so what we are doing now 
then we will create another console based application where you utilize all your class library functionality right so you have to create uh, one project then you have to right click on the reference then you have to add a reference and you have to select the path of that dll file which you have created in the class library right so this is uh, the dll file you have created right now uh, you have to add the namespace of this class library file in the console application right to consume its uh, its uh, members right that is uh, the functions you have created in the class library right so this is the code right you have to use that uh, uh, library that is cls lib this is the namespace for uh, uh, that dll file after that uh, you have created a project with the name math func with dll right inside this what we are doing we are uh, we have already created the class inside that class lib library right that is mathlib now what we are creating we are creating the instance of that class right and allocating the memory and after that uh, what we are doing we are uh, calling the function inside that class library right obj dot calculate square root obj dot calculate sum right so this these two functions came from this namespace right which you have given reference in your application so after that you are good to go to run your application right so uh, let's check uh, the implementation part also now let's check the implementation part of uh, creating the class component library that is dll right so you have to open visual studio for that open visual studio right create a new project right so what uh, you will uh, first you have to create class library which is dotnet framework based right so this is used for a project for creating a c sharp class library that is dll file then click on next give the appropriate name that is i have given clslib is the project name create that project right now what you have to do you have to you have to create a class with the name mathlib i have created a class with the name mathlib and the same name i have used for creating the constructor constructor is nothing but a specialized function we will discuss it later on then after that you are using two methods here calculate sum and calculate square root right so calculate sum is used for calculating the sum of two numbers and calculate square root is used for calculating the square root of number right so here we are, have used uh, the inbuilt method of math library that is math is the library and sqrt is the function inside the math class right and we are passing that x inside this uh, square root so it will calculate the square root and put the square root in variable z which is of double type and we are printing it on console right now what we are doing go to solution explorer in the solution you can right click and build the solution from here right you can build the solution from here or you can go to this build and build the solution from here right so if you build the solution you can see that there is some error over here so let's uh, remove that error there is one curly braces missing again build that solution so this solution is build succeeded here the message and here's the message also build one succeeded now how to locate the dll file so for locating the dll file you have to go to solution explorer then click on this project right click on the project open folder in file explorer right so you can locate the bin file in uh, you can locate the dll file in bin folder and in debug folder so this is the dll file 
uh, which is in the compact form which is not readable by uh, the end user so this uh, uh, this secures your uh, code from uh, the end user right the logic uh, is uh, wrapped in that dll file right so here uh, you will give the reference of that dll file and you will consume the functions of that uh, that class library project right now close this you can close this as well but remember the class is mathlib and the function is calculate sum and calculate sqrt as you have used sqrt function over here i have uh, created the user defined two functions right then close this right then open visual studio again right. create a new project then create uh, a console application dotnet framework now give the appropriate name suppose i am giving uh, the name as this math func with library with dll i am giving the same name right create So this will create uh, the console application, right? So this is another application. Now what we are doing, first we will add the reference of that DLL file. So you have to go to solution explorer, then you have to go to references, right click on references, add a reference, browse for that DLL file, right? So this DLL file is in uh cls lib is the folder bin debug and this this is the dll file right you have to add this dll file okay so this reference is added over here right now add the namespace of this reference by using cls lib now after that you will consume its class uh, its functions in the main method right so create uh, if you remember the class name the class name is mathlib right so mathlib is inside c classlib.mathlib classlib is the class library project and mathlib is the class right create the object of that mathlib allocate the memory create the constructor and consume the function obj dot you will get the two functions calculate sum pass the numbers 10 30 right obj dot calculate square root pass the function but 25 right and console dot read Right. In this way, you can consume uh, the class uh, component library uh, classes and functions in different uh, uh, application, right? So let's start this control plus F5 and you will get the output. See, we are getting the output, the sum and the square root right so in this way you can uh, do other functionalities as well right by creating the dll file and consuming that dll file in your different project so what you have done uh, first you have created a class uh, library then you have uh, uh, build the class library project then you locate the dll file is if uh, the dll file is exist in that particular location or not then you have created another application which is console based application right and you have given the reference of that dll uh, cls lib file over here now what you have done you have uh, imported that uh, uh, library in the header right by using cls lib now you are consuming its uh classes and methods right 
you have created the class that is you have to remember but you have to remember the class name and the function name right as you have as you remember the uh, functions inside the math class that is sqrt some uh, any function right so you have to remember what you have created the functions in the particular dll right so that's all for this uh, topic